Working it down to two to one. A deep three. Oh! What? Blazers win the series. A walk-off three from Lillard. Just don't see it happening. That nine car is in the driver's seat. Oh, Stenhouse. Stenhouse pounds the wall, but they took the white flag, sponsored by Credit One Bank, under green. Stenhouse. No caution. Is it? Trying to no, get away. Yeah. Here they come. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Priest. Logano on the outside. Oh. And Byron's Byron. around. He crashes. Caution oh. is out. Heavy, heavy. Oh, no. Impacted inside wall by the 42. Larson. Man. Kyle Larson, Jeffrey Earnhardt with heavy damage. And William Byron. On the last lap. Well, that was really scary looking. That 42 was float through the air as he made it uh, con uh, impact that inside wall. Well, these three Chevy drivers did as ordered, worked together, and with the checkered flag, Chase Elliott wow. has brought the Elliott name back to victory lane at Talladega. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my video vlog. This is Sunday night technically, so this is when I'm I'm recording this right now, but let's break it down what all happened this week, especially with this team. I'll tell you more about that. Um, first of all, Talladega. Man, uh, Chase finally gets a win at Talladega. He's been really close for the past couple of years, and he finally gets it done, even though on a caution. And sadly, I wasn't watching the race. I was at work. <laughs> but anywho, but yeah, I seen the uh, highlights and all that, the accidents that happened, and especially Larson. Holy crap, he took a hit and a tumble. <laughs> so, but yeah, but I mean, good for Chase. I mean, it's cool that he finally broke broke the jinx he, he's had at Talladega for years, for a couple of years, and he finally gets the win. And plus, Hendrick finished one and two, and plus Ryan Priest got a third. That was good for him for rookies. So yeah, so so yeah. So, on the next race, see what happens. NHRA, the four wide nationals in Charlotte. Well, Steve Torrance won. Then it was um, Sean Langdon in Funny Car. No pro stock, surprisingly. There was, there was no pro stocks in this race, which is not good for the NHRA, <laughs> as far as that goes. But in uh, pro stock bike, it was... Um, Eddie Krawick, that won the four wide. I can't remember who was all in, in the four wide finals, but yeah, but th those were the winners who came out of the f four wide. So, so moving on to the next race here. I'll take a look here when the next race is going to be for a while here. That's why I have Movie Maker, so I can edit these. <laughs> next week is the Abbey's NHRA Southern Nationals. So, and it's, you know, well, we'll on a dragway, but yeah. So they have it on the next race. So the Southern Nationals is kind of one of NHRA's um, old old events, kind of kind of the Gator Nationals, but it's not as big as Gator Nationals. But still, I mean that this event has been around for years. So so stay tuned, guys. Next week, NHRA heads to Atlanta, so it's gonna be fun. So have it on that. And the WWE, well. Money in the Bank's coming up. Uh, Alexa Bliss is, is going to announce who will be the Money in the Bank participants, both in the men's and the women's. And uh, and I for sure know that she's going to put herself in the women's. I mean, it's 
yeah, that's a given. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I am not gonna make any predictions of who's gonna be in it, but yeah, so probably some of the guys who've lost that that uh, triple uh, threat match that happened at Raw last week, and I kind of figured that AJ Styles was gonna win. You know, it, it was a given because he's a top star now on Raw, so no, so no question about it. He's he's gonna tell a shot in his first time there. So, anywho, um, then uh, on a SmackDown, well, it didn't take long for uh, Kevin Owens to turn heel. <laughs> he was faced for a little while, but heels, but heel is his thing. I mean, it's always has been th throughout his, his career, and so, so yeah, so he turned on Kofi, and now he's going to face Kofi at Money in the Bank. So, so that's what it's going to be for that. But I mean, but, I, but, I mean but, but Kevin Owens was a good. Um, Fit for for, for, new, for the uh, new day for a while, but and plus they were calling him the Big O, so <laughs> and plus I recall uh, if you guys have watched uh, Zack Ryder's uh, Long Island uh, True, True Island story, he had a partner named uh, he had a partner named Big O, so yeah, <laughs> got in that little mix. But I mean it was only for a little while for the new day, so like, no copyright thing on that. But yeah, so um, all that said and done. NXT, uh, I don't think I've, oh man, I forgot watch NXT this week, I just remembered. Uh, yeah, I think there was, um, yeah, I don't think I saw NXT, NXT this week, guys, I, yeah, I don't think I have, I've totally forgot about it, um, I was going to watch it on Wednesday, but then the rest of the days, I just totally... Yeah, so hopefully I'll get back to watching NXT, hopefully maybe after this video. So yeah, so sorry I wasn't kept up on that. It, it happens. I mean, which I had uh, 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 bleh, other things going on too, so, but all in all. Um, anywho, uh, the NFL Draft, uh, I didn't watch the whole thing. I only, I only watched the first round in the Seattle's pick, but yeah, I've seen a lot of a lot of players were drafted. Uh, nothing. Uh, kind of figure that uh, Murray w was going to be the number one all overall pick. No question about it. And for the Cardinals, it'll be another wasted quarterback for the Cardinals, <laughs> kind of with Josh Rosen. <laughs> but um, uh, but yeah. So yeah, I think uh, think think four Oregon guys went. I believe uh, I didn't see Jake Browning for Washington. He was one of the high uh, QBs to go on the draft, and didn't see his name. But Washington State's quarterback, uh, uh, Minshew, he got drafted. And I thought he was going to come back to Washington State next year, so that's not the question now. <laughs> so, but um, seeing a couple from Boise State were drafted. Yeah, a lot of Pac-12 players, a lot of SECs, but you know how the draft works. And plus, here's my thing with the draft about fans being there, you know. It's like, okay, like you're there to witness, you know, moments and all that stuff, but... Sometimes the fans act when their team gets drafted and they name this guy's name. Some are like, who is he? You know? But we're happy he's, he's on our team. Yay! You know? It's like, I don't know the player when you're there. <laughs> but, most of them are, but most of them are just there to be seen. It's what it's all about. And just, it's, yeah. Because <laughs> I've seen a lot of them go like, Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? You know? It's like if you follow college football, you probably know who that guy is. <laughs> but, I mean, but, uh, but, 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 but most of my I don't know either. But still, why? Why have big turnout just to be seen on a draft, you know? Ah, people. Gotta love them. <laughs> Especially for football fans. And it will put some other, uh, I mean, uh, other sports in general as well. And, uh, all right, the NBA playoffs. Well, I've seen the Warriors won uh, game one uh, um, today um, in, the, in their series with Houston. But the one that was the biggest highlight of the playoffs so far was Lillard's buzzer beater. I thought Blazers were not going to win that game. They were down by eight with a little bit of time left. They they uh, found the urge to come back, and Lillard finished it off. 
Some call him Logo Lillard, but I call him Dame Dalla. So nice to see him. And plus, if you guys don't catch it, he actually went by to, to Russell. That was one of the big things I, I, I noticed. Like, bye, have a nice trip. <laughs> so, yeah, that was awesome. So, uh, but they got a tough Denver team, though. That's the thing I'll be looking ahead for them tomorrow, game one. I was actually rooting for the Spurs because of home court advantage for Portland, but it wasn't meant to be. Even though the game came close, though. But about the end, the uh, Denver pulled away. So, so yeah. I mean, plus for Denver, I mean, this is a long time since they had a good team. So, so I mean, they're... I mean, most of those guys who are in on that team don't have much playoff experience. But Portland does. So, so Portland kind of has an advantage in that. But they but just don't get over cocky, though. So, yeah. So, I'm... I'm just hoping Portland can pull this out. I think they have a good shot. I mean, I mean, go either, either way. Just uh, Blazers just got to fight, and hopefully, we can beat them, dang Nuggets. It's gonna happen. It's gonna work. I got it. I believe they can do it. It's gonna be close. And plus two, I seen that uh, Toronto beat uh, Philly as as well, and then. I think another playoff game happened today. I think it was Boston and Milwaukee, I believe. Here, I'll take a look here. What happened yesterday? There it is. Yeah, but Boston beat Milwaukee. Wow, that's surprising. I'm surprised. I thought Milwaukee would beat them. But no, Boston won. Huh. Okay. Surprised me. <laughs> so, alrighty. So they have it on that. So... So now, all that's out of the way, it's time for Major League Baseball standings here. Get right to it. And by the way, Seattle got spanked today by the, by the Rangers, 14-1. to 1. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so here's the standings. Tampa, Tampa Bay still leads the American League East by three games over the Yankees, the, the uh, injured Yankees, by the way. <laughs> And then Minnesota and Cleveland are tied in the Central. Seattle still has a lead by three games in the West. And then, and then the National League in the East, it's Philly, one game ahead of the Mets. And, and then the Central, uh, Pittsburgh and St. Louis are tied. And in the West, it's uh, the Dodgers by three. So, okay, let's see which team's doing hot and which one is not here. All righty. So far, I've seen four in a row. Yep. Four in a row. Toronto. I've won four in a row. Oops. Press one button. And who has lost more? I've seen already. It's four in a row. And it's in the same league, just like last week. And that's the Rays, the leaders of the AL East. So, so yeah. So they have it on that, even though it's still early in the uh, MLB in the MLB season. But, but yeah, a lot, a lot of things will be happening for sure. And uh, let's see what else going on. Um, Having anything in college football? It's been pretty quiet. Same with college basketball and all that stuff. Um, anything else as far as yeah, but. Yeah, so, anywho, my playlist updates, I think I got a like on there, and that was Dean's buzzer beater. <laughs> but as far as others, I haven't been updated them much yet, and I've been kind of slacking off of that. I mean, I kind of find any videos that I want to add to my playlist lately, but some way I will. I mean, it's coming. It's coming. So far, that. So now, that's out of the way. It's time. Read your comments. Plus by Buttermania, 1989. Go check out his channel. Okay, I'm going to start off with my last video vlog from Colonel Ward. He's a good, he's been on here, <laughs> which, which is good. I mean, I mean, it's nice to hear somebody from an, 
another country who watches me. So, hey, hey uh, Colonel Ward commented on my last video vlog. Just seen Pendleton, Oregon on YouTube. Looks looks amazing, like like uh, some other country sites here in England. Thanks for uh, letting me know how small our town is. <laughs> but I mean, but that's uh, but that's. Uh, how it is, but yeah, but uh, yeah, but Pendleton's not that very big, guys. Um, it's um, if you watch uh, on uh, Jason Crow's channel, he's he he has a video of uh, him in a in a helicopter ride where they they and he when they viewed Pendleton uh, back into back in 2014 to do a roundup, and he took the whole helicopter ride around overhead of Pendleton, so. About, I think it was about in, in the evening too. Was during that time, so I kind of wish I would have done it, but Price killed. <laughs> and plus, he didn't say of uh, how the uh, guy uh, operating the helicopter was kind of going too much to the right. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, but anyway, but yeah, if you guys want to see the whole over, the whole overview of Pendleton, go watch his video. So, and plus two. He actually zooms on a shadow too uh, when he's, uh, I think it's right near the sunset. That little shadow is Mount St. Helens, and we don't hardly see it at Pendleton. The, the overhead view is the only good shot. You can scare on that mountain because it's because the way the sun sets on, on over the hills, that shadow pops up over overhead view. So. So that's pretty cool that, that that he that he witnessed that that uh, I mean a thing that I didn't know about in this town. So but yeah, so but yeah. So if you guys would check that out, going ahead. But yeah, but like I said, Pendleton's not very big. It's uh, I mean it's well, it's actually not like Portland, but yeah. But I mean, but we're a good sized town. Just like a maybe not a little town, but it's. I'd say it's a medium-sized farm, farm town, if you want to put it that way. So yeah, all in all. Okay, and oops. Then uh, your Abu your Durai CV. I hope I pronounced your first name right. I'll comment on WE 2K17 PS3. Guys, everyone playing PS2, I'm playing it. Playing it, so am I. <laughs> so am I. And then, um, then some name that I don't see on here comment on my uh, latest WWE uh, 2K17 My Career Mode live stream. You are a great fan, a, a great man. Thanks. And plus, same guy, same same uh, video here. Oops, sorry. There we go. Ding, ding. Bella slipping. Good job. I'm a, a big fan of for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Then uh, Tony Raff, Raff, Raffy, two, 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 two. <laughs> Coming in on my um, the radio highlights of the Blazer game of the Against the Thunder. Brian Wheeler. Best in the biz, sure is. He's done it for years. Okay, then back to Budamania. Here we go. 1989. I see you change your profile picture to three. <laughs> Great. I have a boy comment on my W2K17 my career mode live, live stream. Latest one. Great money in the bank matchup, hit, man. Thank you, Mister Money in the Bank. Wow. Love it. Again, an uh, Iceman commented on my latest NASCAR 09 PS2 season. The last part. Fancy drivers do really well on on on, on uh, road courses. Thanks for letting me know. And same guy, same video. But that was Keith Mears in the black suit, not Jeff Gordon. Can't always per can't make it perfect. I mean, back then the PS2 days, you can't really tell who who was who sometimes. And same guy, same video. Can can congrats on your championship win as well. Hey, don't spoil it. Well, I love well, you guys been watching. 
I pretty much got the thing wrapped up anyway, so like I've, I mean, I've already won it. <laughs> then uh, Diego Andrade commented on my WWE Raw 2 uh, Xbox 214. Not, not anymore. Just make sure you you corner your opponent, then then you spear him, and he gets eliminated easily. Oh, it's probably okay, so 214. All right, hold on here. Let me see this here. Oh, okay, he coming on the World Rumble. Okay, when I was on the main menu. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Then back to Buttermania. Come in on my latest NASCAR 9 PS2 season. Great. Nice job at Bristol, man. Thank you. Okay, then N2SC5R NASCAR Heat 3 coming in on my same video, NASCAR 9 PS2 season. Good uh, good luck to get good luck to, to get into the chase, which I already am. <laughs> well, actually I think there's no chase, to be to be honest, I think. Ding belt. Yeah, so then uh Dylan Brock uh, Block commented on my the Trailblazers in uh, Thunder playoff. Radio highlights, second half. You, are you, are you, are you haven't done one of these in a long time. Yeah, I haven't. I, I, I am pleasant to respond back to him. Yeah. i just kind of been slacking off on that. Just like, yeah. I don't know. Just I didn't find any interest in doing it anymore. So. And then a Gary Walker comment in my NCAA f f football 07 intros. NCAA NCAA Football 07 presents Cougars wins wins championships. Well, which Cougars are you referring to? Washington State or Houston? <laughs> if it's Washington State, well then, uh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the Cougars, I have a guarantee, are not going to make a title game in a long, I mean, long time. Maybe never. <laughs> that's, what's, that's a rival for you right there. Conference, you know, yeah. Okay, so guys, there you have it on, on your comments. So, there you go. That was the last one. So, um, so, anywho, um, oh, how I got into baseball. Well, I didn't really watch baseball that much, to be honest with you, back in my heyday. I didn't really uh, follow any team. I really didn't follow any player that was my favorite. But I did play a little league, though. I, I played three teams that was a little like say Little League uh, and somehow I can still remember the names I, I played for I played for uh, a, uh, a a business called a good a good looking car wash which is which is actually theirs still there by the way but it's a different name um, and then I played for a team called the Bears I forgot what the first one was but yeah, it was Bears and it was red white I think yeah I think the good-looking car wash was a turquoise blue and white, and then uh, then my final team was a Pendleton, Pendleton uh, Electric, and uh, that was an orange and black team. So I can't say I, I wasn't very good at baseball. I'll tell you that much. I I was in the outfield a lot, sun glaring, chewing on my mid. You know, <laughs> a typical kid. You know, I mean, I was, but yeah, just and then there on forward, I didn't play any more baseball for that. But yeah. Just, I never got much into baseball when I was little or, I mean, up there in my years in junior high and high school. So, yeah, but nowadays I, I do pay attention kind of more into it just because I like to um, tease my cousin Jeremy on his Yankees. <laughs> uh, it's so nice because he talks about how, how good they are, that they're going to win another World Series, they're going to go 150 something and oh, it's like, yeah, he eats his words every year, <laughs> and I'm there to roast him. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, anywho, but yeah, but that was one of the main reasons why I got back into it because of him, because I can, because I can put his favorite team down. So, so yeah, yeah, but I do watch Seattle sometimes, uh, plus Boston because the Bravos the Yankees, you know, like to bug him. <laughs> 
and all, all that stuff. But yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't mind going to a, a, a baseball game. Honestly, probably it'd be like a you know a myth thing, you know. But I mean, but but I wouldn't pay money to get a ticket in case if it was like maybe the, if the if we got a free ticket, I probably would go. But paying for one, no. <laughs> so yeah. So as far as that. But I mean, but, but, but it would be kind of nice to go, go to a game, but just, yeah, you, you know, so, all in all, so yeah, so, as far as that, um, yeah, it's pretty much baseball. <laughs> see, see, I told you last week I didn't have much to say about it, so, there you go. Um, all in all, and plus I was going to bring up this thing, I seen it, the, uh, this morning on the news, uh, well, wrestling news, but somehow it, it turned up there. I understand that a lot of people are talking about this new Avengers movie, Endgame, I think it's called. And, uh, man, a lot of people are, yeah, are really into it. But the people I can't stand is the spoilers. Because this one guy spoiled spoiled the ending for some group of people, I don't know who they were, but when he did that, he got beat up for it. I'll tell you something. I'll, I'll tell you something. You guys, five seconds of fame. <laughs> oh, people. I just, sometimes I don't understand it. Plus, you don't even resort to violence when they somebody spoils the ending for a movie. I mean, including for me, like, uh, like a show or a movie, I wouldn't beat him up. I would just get mad, you know. I was like, well, thanks a lot, you know, type of thing. But I wouldn't go beat him up for it or beat somebody up for that. I mean, when when people have that issue, you know they've got mental problems, for sure. But as far as that, yeah. I mean, I understand it's a top movie. Everybody was talking about it. And plus, with me, I know with, I mean, with me, well, actually, uh, sorry, stuttering. I mean, I don't get, get get into Marvel movies or DC comics or like that, but things because I'm just not into them. I mean, I mean, I mean, a lot of people are. I mean, I can I mean they got a big fan base, but I'm just not one of them. So, I mean, same goes for Star Wars, Jurassic Park, um, all the things I'm not naming off that are big that that, that that people are into these days. But yeah, I'm just not into them. Not into them all. I mean, I mean, I would watch them. It's like, okay, good movie. And that's it. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so, I mean, but I would watch it. But all in all, but yeah. But still. Getting beat up for a, to a spoil the ending. It's pretty sad. You know, I mean. Or, or that guy wanted to get beat up. Who knows, but yeah. Just... I hate when people will bring a sort of violence because of that issue. Because they got, they got a mental, they got a mental issue for somebody spoiling an ending, you know? But I've been over this already, so, but yeah. So people, think what you say before you say it. And to people who are going to probably be, you know, uh, spoil, spoil a, a good movie. Or something. I mean, kind of example like a Star Wars. You know, I mean, I mean, would somebody like to spoil that? I mean, you kind of think about what you say before you say it, type of thing. You know, I mean, not just that, but anything. Because you ever know when somebody's going to result to violence, and they shouldn't, but some do. Because they got an anger issue or or a mental issue. Sometimes it's both, but yeah, it's stupid. And for therefore more, I, I I don't care about the movie myself. I mean, if it's on TV, I'd watch it. But just like, I'm not gonna be one of those people who stay in line for hours. It's like, I maybe mean, like, you can watch it later on, <laughs> or you just want to be one of the people. It's like I was first there to see it, you know. And then you get your 15 seconds of, 5 seconds of fame with that, too. But people, people, people. So, 
Anyway, I'm off of that now, but yeah, but yeah, after I saw that, just like... Shake my head. So, anywho, off of that. Um, my live stream schedule this week will be on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yep, so, I I told you my last live, live stream is going to be back on Tuesday. I'm going to be. And then on Thursday and Friday, even though Friday is Prestige, I'll be going to, to that event on on that day. Um, and that'll be starting around like about around seven. So I'll have to play plenty of time to do a live stream. So anywho, but yeah, so as far as that, NASCAR 09 is on on schedule, so it'll be on there. And and hopefully this this week I'll be doing my uh, WWE Day of Reckoning SmackDown season. So I'll be doing that this week for sure to get get that all set up and all ready. So yeah, and plus to the GameCube that, that, that I played on, my brother had it out in the uh, trash bin the, the, uh, the other day, and I told him what was, what was wrong with it, and then he said it doesn't work. So yesterday he took it in his room, it works. So I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, it's working now. <laughs> So, but anyway, but yeah, so, but that's all settled, so, so I'll be doing that, and plus I got the, uh, he has the, uh, the memory card 2 in it, so it's all saved and all that stuff, so, so yeah, with that, and all that all going on, so, that's it guys, nothing else, not, not much more, so yeah, so Pendleton, it's kind of mild weather, so it's all good, so, all that, so. There you have it, guys. So, from the guy who has over 4,600 subscribers who uh, who lives in Pelton, Oregon, signing out. Take care, guys.